We're meeting one of Riley Hospital for Children's oldest of new nurses on this National Nurses Week. Nursing turns out to be one of the more common second careers, but it's clearly one of the more challenging college programs, too. A retired Lilly engineer took it on anyway. News 8's Nina Criscola joins us with his story. Nina? Good morning. Jeff Bick spent more than 30 years at Lilly before he was offered retirement at 58 years old. Bick took the unexpected curve in the road as an opportunity to serve the community in another way, as a nurse. You know, I wasn't ready to retire by any means. I figured I was good for another 10 or 12 years. Well, what, what could I do that would be meaningful, that would be a change in trajectory, and certainly nursing has been. A clean start, so to speak. My wife and I both feel like we're lifelong learners, you know, so you keep, you know, you keep looking for challenges, you keep looking for things that make life an adventure. So with the support of his wife, Jenny, Jeff Bick started down the three-year road of nursing school. I found it refreshing, you know, I kind of like being around the, the youngsters and, and also finding out that you can learn something new, that, that your brain is still plugged in and it's active. There were challenges, including an accident that led to surgery on both of his legs. But Bick stayed the course, graduating and becoming a registered nurse at Riley Hospital for Children. I think it's a brave choice. Greta Price, Associate Chief Nursing Officer, says nurses like Bick are valuable, bringing real-life experience to patient care and, in Bick's case, the operating room. One of the things we see with second career nurses in particular is that they have developed expertise over a lifetime. And that's what Jeff has done, right? He's chosen leaving the corporate world to provide a service to these very vulnerable patients. Bick, now 61 years old and starting a brand new career, says he may sometimes be the oldest in the OR, but he is constantly learning from the doctors and his fellow nurses. I got shoes older than some of them, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. so yeah. You know, the first thing you kind of have to do is leave your ego at the door. If you're here to do patient care and to take care of people, and uh, and that's your your primary focus, and it ought to be, um, you're going to be willing to listen to and learn for however long he can. I just want to continue to work and contribute. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. Like I said, I, I never expect to get to get an opportunity like this, and I just want to make the most of it. Bick is now participating in surgeries at Riley Hospital for Children while also taking part in the hospital's one-year onboarding program. Reporting in the studio, Nina Criscolo for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Nina, this is not